In other news, Senator John McCain, who died on Saturday at the age of 81, will lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda and receive a full-dress funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral. Clarence Shaughnessy reports. Dozens of Arizona residents stood outside the funeral home where the remains of U.S. Senator John McCain were taken on Saturday, August 25th, to pay their respects to the former prisoner of war who ran unsuccessfully for president as a self-styled maverick Republican in 2008 and became a prominent critic of President Donald Trump. McCain, a senator from Arizona for more than three decades, had been battling glioblastoma, an aggressive brain cancer, since July 2017 and had not been at the U.S. Capitol in 2018. He also had surgery for an intestinal infection in April. John's close to my heart because uh, I like the way he's so strong in politics and in life, you know. Just deeply saddened. I heard about it and um, immediately started crying, just thinking about what a man of integrity and uh, just cared so much for his country. His family announced on Friday, August 24th, that McCain was discontinuing further cancer treatments. McCain will lie in both the states of Phoenix, Arizona, and in the Capitol Rotunda in Washington, D.C., and will receive a full-dress funeral service at the Washington National Cathedral before being buried in Annapolis, Maryland, his family said. Former President Barack Obama, former President George W. Bush, and former Vice President Joe Biden were expected to give eulogies. Vice President Mike Pence was expected to represent the current administration, the family said. No further details were provided immediately. Clarence Shaughnessy, UNTV News and Rescue, USA.